بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد the dunya the life of this world can be is full of tests and trial trials and tribulations and that is for societies and for individuals we're all tested with something and one of the most severe tests and difficulties for men and women is wealth fitna tamal because the wealth can distract you from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the more wealth you get usually the more you acquire of the dunya the more you require and the more you acquire of the dunya of things and collecting items and getting into materialism and things that distract you from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the common situation with most people and another thing which is incredibly difficult especially for men is related to the fitna of the women as that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to, to marry or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to marry men istata'a minkum faliyatazawaj whoever is able to from amongst you or whoever has the the prerequisites of marrying they should marry and the sharia encourages us in various ways to marry, protect ourselves, protect our private parts, or protect our eyes, and so forth. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "In in the dunya halawat al khadira, wa in Allah subhanahu wa taala mustakhlafukum fi, fa yandru kifa taamalun, fa taqo dunya wa taqo nisa, fa inna awla fitna bani Israel kana fi nisa." Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said The dunya In the dunya Halawatul Khadira That the dunya is like a beautiful Fruit Or A garden You know it, it's full of beauty and, and things that it's very attractive Very lush Verily, Allah the Almighty establishes you therein, you know, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us a khalifa to oversee this earth, protect it, rule it by his sharia, preserve it. And he looks to see what you will do. So Allah has established us in the land to see what we'll do, what we'll do with this, this land that is established for us. Then the Prophet Sallallahu said He warned us He said dunya. So he said fear the dunya And the dunya that can be all the things of this life Those things which distract us from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala And the wealth And all those things Then he specifically mentioned Alayhi Salatu Wasalam He said nisa. He said and fear the women for verily the first thing, the first fitna, the first trial that befell the children of Israel was the women. And this was collected in Muslim. What this lets us know is this dunya that we should be on heather. We should be cautious of indulging in it too much. And for sure without doubt, one of the biggest things that will take a strong man down is the women. Is, a, is either a bad woman or a woman to distract him from doing good. That's why a righteous woman is one of the most precious things that you could, uh, you know, that you could have in your life in this dunya for a man. Is a righteous, good woman that will call you and remind you to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, etc. And one of the worst things and tests that you could have is a woman who causes you to be destroyed doesn't remind you of Allah doesn't remind you of the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wants you to compromise those things and detracts you from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a headache 
destroys your good deeds, curses you, and all the other various ways that you can be tested with a bad spouse. And in fact, even if someone is not married, they're tested with that same fitna. Fataku dunya, fataku nisa. Fear the dunya and fear the women. Because there's no doubt that for a man, one of the things, the biggest distractions in this world is the women. Is the women. That is the natural inclination Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inclined us towards. So to focus and avoid those things which will distract us and take us away from the remembrance of Allah is imperative. And we've seen many people be destroyed by that path. And may Allah protect us from being amongst them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.